Langton's end was pioneered by the computer scientist Chris Langton in the 1980s. His algorithm, as a part of the family of cellular automata, is very interesting, particularly because it doesn't involve counting neighbors to determine the changes in the states of a particular tile. In this particular implementation of cellular automata, we have an agent, which is represented here by this red arrow. The properties of a tile reside in two different states, which is the tile being white or the tile being black. So the rules of the algorithm are very simple. If the red arrow, which is our agent, lands in a white tile, then it, then it turns it black and it turns in a clockwise direction 90 degrees. Then it proceeds in the current direction where the head of the arrow is moving and then ends in the neighbor that is to the right. Again, notice, however, that the identity of this particular state is non-dependent on the states of the neighbors, at least not directly. Then in the next iteration, we should turn this red arrow down in a clockwise direction and change the color of the tile to black again. And then we move forward. We repeat the process and eventually we're going to end at a position where we go back to the point where we started, at least at the beginning of the algorithm. Here, notice that the agent or the end is going to move forward. Because we move forward and we find a tile that is black, this time we reverse the process by turning in a counterclockwise direction and then leaning towards the west position. We move forward in that new direction, and because the tile is white, we turn in a clockwise direction, making us face north. If we let the program run for a long period of time, eventually we're going to end up with a pattern that looks like this. You can see that even though at the beginning the algorithm seems to be just producing random maps, eventually the system converges into something that looks like pipes. The applications for this algorithm of Langton's end appears in some of the least expected places, which is land connections. Later, we're going to introduce other forms of cellular automata, but Langton's end outstands for its simplicity and clear demonstration for the concept of emergence. Let's see if we can implement this using Python.